Good evening, TikTok Madonna family. As we wait for good news on Madonna's health, we come together, we send her good vibes. We come together as a community for support. Um, for tonight's reading for Bedtime Stories with Madonna. Double. I did go through some of my files and found an original script. It was from Entertainment Tonight where they had a love letter from Madonna to her then boyfriend in high school, Mike. And I guess Mike was part of this episode. Um, I went down to, I believe it was Paramount Studios, went into the sound booth and they literally handed me the script on the spot and said, go. Um, so I did the voiceover for that. If anybody happens to have found that footage of the TV show, please let me know. I think it's pretty much long gone by now. So I just wanted to share this with you guys. This is what they handed me on set. And it starts with, I guess her, her sweetheart, Mike. And he said, Mike says, I'm sure she had crushes on a lot of guys. She was very flirtatious and can turn it on and off. But we used to fool around a lot. And then there's a voiceover that says, but there was just one problem. Mike had a girlfriend. It's all in caps. So this is the dramatic voiceover. He was dating Pat Fox and everyone in school knew it, but that didn't stop Madonna. She thought Mike was sexiest guy on the baseball team or basketball team, sorry. Um, justify my love's playing, wanting, needing, waiting for you to justify my love. They put in that song, funny. Voice over Mike. Mike realizes Madonna was after him, but he had to keep her at arm's length. That's when the trouble started. She would do things like if I was with my wife in the halls or watering holes, she would come up and kiss me just to stir up shit. Don't remember at the time if she got mad or not, but she knew Madonna was just pulling her chain. That was Madonna. So she's just, okay. Voiceover, the pranks didn't work. Mike's girlfriend, Pat, was understanding, but then Madonna tried one more time. She wrote a steamy letter in Mike's yearbook. Now for the first time, you will see how the roots of Madonna's obsession became greater than any man. And then here's my part. Dear Mike, alias Champ, I knew you would save this page for me to sign. As you know, purple is the sign of lustfulness, so you know why I signed in this color. I guess I can say we knew each other well, but not as well as we both would have liked to. There seem to be certain barriers popping up all the time. One of these days you'll be a free man and I'll be a free woman. Of course, I usually am. And we'll both have one hell of a time for free. Ha ha. Uh, then the letter got hotter. A hint of what direction Madonna would make in years to come. Okay, so Madonna continues. I'm not going to any more baseball games next year. You were the sexiest guy on the team. I could go into a lot of other things that I like about you, but they are X-rated. So I won't. Please don't get the wrong idea. I'm a very sincere person. Goes back to Mike. Whenever I think about it, she was a light years ahead of the rest of us in a lot of ways. She just gravitated to her being in the spotlight and being what she is, and she was good at it, even at her age. And then Madonna comes back. Please think of me often. I don't believe I said that, but I will be. So it's only fair that you do too. Do you think you're ready for that crazy world out there? I think so, but you still gotta watch yourself, ha ha. <laughs> Whoever may read this letter besides Mike, you ask for it. See ya this summer, love always, lady. Now, giant, all cap, voiceover comes in, dramatic voiceover. Who could resist such a come on letter from Madonna? The swinging cheerleader writing X-rated love notes in purple ink. What high school boy could resist? Mike resisted, he let Madonna go and came out in one piece. Whatever, you, you lose Mike. Meanwhile, Madonna became her obsessive rise to the top, leading men like Warren Beatty, Sean Penn, and Mike Stechulet behind. Sorry, Mike. And then they actually close it with, people think that being a star is all about being fabulous, being in the spotlight, having everyone worship and adore you, being rich, rich, rich. And you know what? They're absolutely right. 
And so I hope you guys enjoyed that. I do have other scripts that I found throughout the years. I did work a lot back in the 80s and the 90s doing a lot of different body part stand-ins, voiceovers, and um, what a gift from Madonna and what a gift for a career that I've been blessed with. And thank you guys for always supporting and sending me notes and comments. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Just continue to drink your healthy tea and wish love and light to Madonna. And I know very soon we will get good news. Love you guys. Sweet dreams.